What up y'all, gonna be showing you how to play Chaos Zero Nightmare on your Mac. Quick note, this is only gonna work for Apple Silicon Macs, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you have an Intel Mac, you could Google or YouTube how to use Boot Camp and then either install the native Windows version or download a Windows Android emulator to run the game. Now, as Mac gamers, we already have to deal with workarounds and third party apps just to play games like everyone else. So I wanted to put you onto a tool that's free to use forever and makes the whole experience safer. Proton VPN. It's based in Switzerland with strict privacy laws, completely ad free, and even their free plan has no speed or data caps. But the real value is in VPN Plus, with full access to thousands of servers, streaming unlocks, and secure core security. You can try it with my link in the description and support the channel at the same time. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to playcover.io, I'll leave it in the description in the upper right hand corner click download click latest and hit allow then go to our downloads folder and double click the DMG drag play cover to our applications and then in our applications find and double click play cover hit open we can also eject play cover while we're here all right now we need to go get the IPA file for the game so I'm gonna go to decrypt.day again I'll leave it in the description type in the game click the one by smilegate holdings on the right side, click download for free. If it lets you, click download. If it says you're using an ad blocker, but you know you're not, check the video in the description. I'll show you a way on how to bypass this. So click download, click get download link, download, and it might just start downloading. You might have to hit allow. It might open a new tab and you might have to go back to the old tab and hit allow. It just kind of depends on what mood it's in. Once it's finished, click and drag the IPA file in the play cover. It's gonna extract. And real quick before we get into it, not exactly sure how it will work for this game, but typically with the gotcha games, whenever there's a major update, version 1.1, 1.2, 2.0, etc., you can't update it within the game itself. You actually have to go back to decrypt.day, type in the game, click it, and then depending on the popularity of the game, usually a couple hours or a day after the update, the decrypted version will be here, and you can check the version over here in the upper right, and then you would download that new IPA file, click and drag it into play cover and that will let you update the game and if you ever want to delete the game it's not as simple as right clicking and uninstalling app the game data lives on a separate folder that you have to manually delete if you ever need to fully delete the game i'll leave a video on that in the description and with that being said we can double click the game it's going to ask us to log in typically with play cover apple sign in does not work so you will have to choose something else, either a guest or with their specific email sign up. I'm just gonna go with guest. It's gonna ask you to agree to their terms of service and privacy policy, pick a server, pick a voice language, and then it's gonna ask you to download game resources. Once that's finished downloading, we can just click to start. It's gonna run you through a cutscene tutorial. If for some reason you ever want to bind a key to a button press, let's say the skip video, you can go up to key mapping, hit open key map editor, click an empty space, click the top one, and you will see the button. When it has the red circle around it, you can press any key on your keyboard, or if you paired a controller, you could press a button on your controller, and it would then make that key correspond to that button press. So if I move it over to the skip video button, I can then close the key map editor. My mouse will disappear. I just have to press option to get it back. And then if I press the space bar, which I mapped it to, it will click over there. And that's about it. Hope you enjoy the game and subscribe for more Mac gaming news and tutorials. See ya.